All right, World of Matchups is back. Best bet time series with Spencer Lewis, Dexter Reed. Let's roll. So my best bet this week on the on the slate is going to be the Las Vegas Raiders for a lot of different reasons. And I know, Spencer, you think I'm nuts, but the Raiders <laughs> are home. Five men, they're, they're, they're minus five and a half. Yes, that is a tricky number, but I'm going to take the Raiders for a lot of different reasons. Number one, can Carr get any worse? They were so bad. And then in the fourth quarter, they amounted a comeback, and they were still in that game versus the Chargers. They had a chance to win that game. All that being said is to be that bad with a chance to win the game, that's plus number one. Number two, I was at State Farm Stadium, and I watched the Kansas City Chiefs absolutely undress the Arizona Cardinals. That, yeah. game, was, that game was 37-7 to seven before I could go to the bathroom. They are absolutely horrendous. They are horrendous. I said it last year, if you remember on the show, I said it all season long, that that's a team that was fool's gold. Kyler Murray scrubs his social media of anything Cardinals, pouts like a five-year-old, and then what do they do? Like a bunch of dummies, they gave him a contract. Rondale Moore is out. No DeAndre Hopkins. Zach Ertz is banged up. They have nothing but James Conner, and their offensive line is suspect. They have no defense to speak of. They blitzed Patrick Mahomes relentlessly and got roasted. If they do that versus Carr, they're going to be in for a long day. Waller's going to eat. Devontae Adams is going to show out. I think when you have guys like Chandler and you have guys like Mac Mad Max on a defense that they didn't really play that well, I think Arizona is in big trouble. I see the Raiders winning this game by a touchdown, and I like the game to go under surprisingly because I don't think they're going to need a whole lot of points to do it. That is my best bet this week on the slate. I, I, I hope so. I, I hope what you're saying is 100% right. I, I am a diehard Raiders fan, and you know that. I also know I am a Raiders fan. I have seen the Raiders be bad my entire life. I have never seen a I, – well, I was five when they went to the Super Bowl. After that, <laughs> Literally after that – that's my first first of all, that's my first memory as a Raiders fan, okay? My dad being bummed out. I didn't even I didn't really understand why I was five years old. My first memory is is literally that Super Bowl. I'm not kidding you. That's my first like football memory of my dad just being completely bummed out. And since that moment, since that high, you want to call it the high losing in the Super Bowl, they have been bad my entire life. They have been mediocre at some points in my life. The Jason Campbells, the Carson Palmer years, the eight and eights. And I feel like I'm staring that right in the face right now. Where Carr you got has to live going, up to the contract. And other where it's not. Der Come on, man. You got to get Derek Carr in a contract year during this time. One year prove it deal. Come on, dude. Like now they now he's comfortable. <laughs> now he's throwing interceptions. The guy's patting the ball like it's a baby. Like he's bur trying to burp a baby. <laughs> you, you, you have a bad you have a bad offensive line. There's no doubt about that, right? You have a bad <laughs> offensive line. It's probably bottom three in the league. Okay. You can't be holding on to the ball like it's glued to your hands. And that's what he did. They dude. will He's run around, Josh man. Jacobs into the ground in this game. I'm telling you, the car, it, this, to me, this is my best bet because it's more about what the Cardinals aren't than what the Raiders there's, are. There's one key lot. injury that makes me think that they're <laughs> at least not going to cover this. That's Denzel Perryman. I, he is the only reason the Raiders defense has been together at all in the past two years, and this guy's out. I don't even know who is going to replace him at the linebacker position. If they think, think that Jayon Brown is going to slot over from the outside linebacker position to the middle linebacker position, which I think he played in Tennessee, we are in big trouble. Now, Zach Hurts being hurt helps, but this isn't a good defense. I think, it's, dude, they, they pay <laughs> Jones a boatload of money, right? They trade away Yannick and they give, do they give Jones all this money? The guy gets one tackle for a loss in week yeah, one. Chandler Jones has to do one. more tackle for a loss in week one are you kidding me dude max yeah. crosby also probably one qb pressure the entire time now i know the chargers are significant chargers better. are so good bro i don't think people are hearing what i'm saying i i'm not a homer the chargers are a superior afc powerhouse team yeah. especially well, if you can keep justin herbert 
upright. And so you're going from playing that team to playing a, a tomato can in Arizona, who honestly, they were never really good last year. They were a product of a decent schedule and they had all their complement of weapons, which they don't have here. Raider fans are hungry. Raider fans have seen what Kansas City has done. They have seen what the Chargers have to do. They know they cannot go 0-2 here. I wouldn't be surprised if they blew this team out. You put a spy on Kyler Murray, and this game should be one in the trenches very handily. If they we'll don't, see. I hope so. I'm going to clown Raider fans mercilessly if you lose to this team because this is a team that Kansas City's second string could have played all game and still won by two touchdowns. Who's you right your now. game? Who's your game? Um, of the week? I'll tell you right now, Dexter. <laughs> Raiders fans are numb to the pain, so you can say whatever you want; <laughs> it'll slide right off. It's numb. It's numb. All right, my, my game. My game of the week, or uh, my bet of the week, I should say is uh, the Steelers plus two and a half against the Patriots. This is, I don't understand. They, I don't the, understand it. got to know something I don't. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to try to find an alternate line. I want I want to take the Steelers minus three and get extra money out of this game. Yeah. I don't, you have a banged up Mac Jones, who, is he good? I'm not even sure yet. No one I don't knows, think he okay. is, bro. He might not be good. Okay. And you got a Steelers team that is dominant defensively. No, make no mistake. Now they lose TJ Watt, but. He, he wasn't even a big – he wasn't a huge – well, he had an interception, okay. Well, other than T.J. Watt, they still dominated a Bengals team, which is like – just went to the Super Bowl, by the way. Had one Lincoln of the most high Patrick offenses. is a G. Yeah, they got a good D. So they're going to dominate defensively, and I just – I don't know. I, I think that there there definitely are questions, right? They took, um, they took the Steelers probably – three quarters maybe two and a half quarters to figure out anything offensively but it's week one I don't put too much merit to that I don't think Mitchell Trubisky is a world beater but I don't think he's the worst quarterback in the league ever I think they have enough weapons offensively and Chase Claypool Deontay Johnson Najee Harris well he's hurt a little bit they got to be careful with him but mm -hmm. I just think they have plenty you know to beat a measly Patriots team that I believe is going to be very very bad so the the Steelers plus two and a half to me, it feels like a steal. I have a two team parlay with Carolina money line and Steelers money lines. Those are my two favorite bets. But if I had to take between the two of them by far, I like the Steelers more. Yeah, I can't agree with you more. I don't see how the Patriots are favored in this game. I've gone on record several times as saying that I think the New England Patriots are going to have the worst team under Bill Belichick that they have had in 20 years. They look absolutely putrid last last week at Miami. They couldn't run the ball. Mac Jones, uh, the offense that they implemented for him last year now has been ripped away, and they're just like, oh, good luck out there, kid. They look helpless. Devontae Parker is, is nobody. Jacoby Myers is nobody. Their wide receiver room is a joke. The only thing they have going for them is Bill Belichick and that defense. Now, I know that the Steelers aren't world beaters, but the Steelers won a huge game last week. That's a big win. That's a confidence-building win for a guy like Mitchell Trubisky. And now they're home at Heinz Field. Najee Harris worries me with that Liz Frank injury. I think it's just a matter of time before that car breaks down, but I don't think it will be this week. He says he's fine. They do have a nice complement of weapons when a guy like Chase Claypool, who is very young and immature, is, is like your number three. You, still, you got something to work with. Get Pickens involved. Get Deontay Johnson involved. Even minus T.J. Watt who was defensive player of the year. They still have great players. They got Devin Bush. Minka Fitzpatrick is an absolute stud. I think that the Patriots are in trouble here. I think this is stealing money, honestly. I think that if you don't bet the Steelers here, you're an idiot. I mean, I think the Patriots that, I think have the nothing Steelers going for game, them. Kenny Pickett starts <clears> next <throat> week. I think there's no way, other way. I think that if they lose this game, Kenny Pickett will be the starting quarterback for the Steelers next week. Yeah, and I think, you know, Trubisky looked okay last week. I mean, he had a 42-yard pass. I mean, they beat a – look, they beat the AFC champs on the road last week. That's right. That fires up your – that fires your, com your confidence to the moon. I mean, Mike Tomlin, they were doing the gritty in the locker room. I mean, they are feeling good, you know what yeah, I mean? And everybody lost on that game, you know? And so I'm going to now take them with you, and I don't think they're my best bet. They're a great, great, great bet, but I think if you're wanting to make money this week, tease them, take them straight, whatever you need to do, because the Patriots are not good. Boo-boo, straight up boo-boo. Yeah, they are They are. They are not good. I think that one of my hot takes for World of Matchups this year was Bill Belichick retiring at the end of the season. And I think as the season wears on, you're going to see little bits and pieces of him just being tired of this nonsense. Look, these the problem with these guys, Bill Belichick, Tom, they don't know when to stop. 
Even Jordan didn't know. They don't, dude, go out on top. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at Serena. She's like, I'm done. Go out before you tarnish your legacy and get yourself killed, quite frankly. You know what I mean? Like, the father time is undefeated. The body can only do so much. But, yeah, I agree with you here. I think Pittsburgh by at least a touchdown in this game. I like yeah, your best bet. I could see it. I could see it. I could see it too. All right, folks, that's it for best bets from World of Matchups. We'll see you guys next week with Dexter Reed and Spencer the Wiz's best bets moving forward. Everybody enjoy the games.